I might need this. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hey, Alex, Osilas, Border Youngin. I don't know if I said your name right or it even came close. Uh, hey, Alex, I didn't get the wheel yet. It's on order. It's going to be here on Wednesday. Um, maybe. <clears throat> Maybe in time for Wednesday's stream, but probably not. So probably a week from now, I'll be able to bust out the wheel on stream. Oh, farm boy. Okay. <laughs> Good. That's a lot easier. That's a lot easier to remember. <laughs> At least for me. Yeah. Well, welcome. Um, I did get my, I got my dual joystick set up. I know you can't, you can't see them. I can show you one. I got these uh, Thrustmaster joysticks, um, which you can conveniently buy in a pair. They call it the Space Sim Pack or whatever. Um, I guess it's good for Kerbal Space Program and stuff like that. Which by the way, when KSP2 comes out, <clears throat> we're going to be doing some of that, but we're trying to. That's a complicated game. But in any case, uh, I got the two sticks. I have not had much time to play with them at all, but um, in fact, I just got some stuff. I just got some controls mapped um, before the stream started. In fact, let's go in our, let's jump in the forestry machine and just see how the controls work. I'll just bust this out and we'll unfold it. Or at least, there we go. We'll see how it works. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice John Deere, isn't it? All right, so this is the left stick. I can rotate. Extend. Um, and then with the right stick, I can move forward and back. And hmm. I'm missing up and down, aren't I? Yeah, I'm missing up and down. I'll have to work on the mappings. Hey, Doris. How are you? Yeah, so I don't know if I'll be able to... I don't know if I'll be able to use this today. I need to spend some time refining the controls. But anyway, it should be pretty nice once I get all that hooked up. Or configured, I should say. Um, and then I'll also be able to use the sticks to control our, like our silage. I don't know what you would call it, our silage plow or whatever that thing is. You know, any kind of dual tracked vehicle. Um, that we could use the sticks as well. Um, but yeah, in any case, taking a look at the deer. Um, I went ahead and I finished getting our new field ready. Yeah, the deer is, is a mod. Yes, it is. Um, I got our field ready for sugar beets. Hey, Lunier. Uh, so I spread lime on it and, uh, you know, after the plowing was done, I spread lime, I cultivated it and I planted sugar beets, right? So they're already first growth stage um, and I I took the opportunity to upgrade the planter because I was tired of that one running out of seed so quickly so I upgraded to this one in uh, from the horse pack sorry it was the horse pack in FS19 I think hey Lunier and um, it got ported over to 22 as a mod so so this is from the horse pack 
mod. Uh, and this one holds 2,000 liters of seed, which is a lot more than the 1,300 or whatever we had before. Um, ultimately, I would like to get this, right, something that we've been talking about for a long time. Uh, let me get to planters. Ultimately, we want to get the John Deere set up uh, with this modded 1775 NT. Right, we want to get that uh, with an 8RX and the tanks and that whole setup, but um, to get that whole setup is going to cost us about three quarters of a million dollars. So, yeah, except we don't have an 8RX. I mean, I guess I could maybe I could trade in the 9R for an 8RX. I don't know what the 9R is worth right now. Ugh. Not very much. The 9RX is still worth a lot. The fence going to need to be retired. Well, the 7R is, you know, the 7R is kind of like my, my yard work tractor. Um... Yeah, nothing good there. Yeah, I use I use the seven R for all the miscellaneous activities around the yard, spreading fertilizer and stuff. Mm. Maybe the Fent. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough call. Um, let's see the eight R. <clears throat> this is the modded one, right? Okay. Well, this is not center articulated. Maybe I could trade the Fent for it. I mean, I love that Fent. But it's pretty old. Um, I do like the fact that this one steers like a, like a normal tractor, so... <laughs> But yeah, I, I think the next tractor we get, we'll get the 8R. And we'll get it with the... With all the exact rate stuff on it. I guess I would have to get exact rate... Tracks, right? For the tanks to fit. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do it eventually. But... Yeah, I mean, 350 grand for the tractor and then another 300 grand or whatever for that planter, which is just obscenely expensive. Um, it's not something we're going to do right away. We'll wait until we've got, yeah, almost 400 grand. Yeah, so we'll wait on that. We will wait. Yeah, so anyway, got that planted. So um, we're going to advance to the next month where we can plant corn soybeans and sorghum. That's our next task. It's more expensive when you click on it. What is the planter? Oh. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't think I'm gonna. Why would they make it so bloody expensive? I mean, it's like two or three times as expensive as any other planter in the game. I don't get it. All right. Well, anyway, um, let me put this lime spreader away. It was raining when I was splitting when I was spreading lime, so uh, I left it out in the rain to get cleaned up a bit. Although it still needs a little, still it needs a little TLC, but I'll put it away. I like having a little bit of dirt on the equipment, adds character. Go ahead and park that.
I should have waited till Jim got here before I parked it. There we go. Yeah, man, that green stuff is expensive, Linear. I don't. Fent green is not as expensive, though, as the John Deere green for some reason. Oh, that's awesome, Alex. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and park this, and I think we're set to advance to April. Let's uh, put our time back. Why does it say course play up there? I wonder if that's a new thing for course play. I don't know. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Sorry. Alright. Yeah, let's go back to the house and sleep until April, and we'll see what's up. Let's get up at 7 a.m. Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, see, I have a little green screen poking out from behind me. Okay, so this is saying that bread has a good price. Yeah, let's check used, first of all. Okay, same as last time. Uh, let's take a look and see how much bread we have to see if it's worth, you know, making a trip to sell it. All right, our grass is done turning to hay. Okay, yeah, I have 31,000 liters. I'd say that's worth making a run. So let's do that first. Hey, Willie, how you doing? Let's find our truck. to switch sides so let's go curtain right front there we go <laughs> oh, I wish Doris could get those cakes off my map I would be thrilled Okay, so let's put bread on storing so we can pick that up. Okay. So this will be a quick trip. Back to distributing. <laughs> okay. You can hear the doggies in the background. I forgot to close the door. Yeah, yeah, let's check on furniture. It's been a long time since we've sold any. Whoa. Okay, that was 120 grand. Another something or other. 
All right, furniture. Let's see. Here it is. It says June is the high month for furniture. It should go up to around 6,400. Let's see what if we have our trigger set at. Ah, uh, okay. See, we have our trigger price set to 67.18 and the highest is 68.18, so maybe we need to lower this a bit. In fact, I've already done that with a few of these other ones. I'm thinking maybe we just lower it to like 10%, 10% less than the peak price. So in this case, uh, 6,800 6, minus 700, let's say. So we set this to about 6,100. And I think if we just sell within 10% of the peak, I'll be happy with that. Alright, so we'll do something like that. Yeah, same for chocolate. 67, yeah, we should lower this. Let's lower that to about 6,000. I wish you could change the increments. Yeah, and then of course this would mean that we do sell chocolate now. So let's let's sell some chocolate as well. Yeah, you know what? I think I Willie, I used to think that it was the same on every game. And in fact, I even like put the peak months in a spreadsheet just so I had a handy reference where I could just check, you know, whatever month I was in and see what I should sell that month. But uh, but yeah, I'm 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 starting to think that it's dynamic. And it's different on every game. And I think it even changes from year to year within the same game, which is why that price trigger mod is so great. Cause then the game will it'll just tell me when I should sell something. Alright. Oh, you know what? I don't have much chocolate. I, I have sold chocolate recently. Um, but yeah, I do have I do have a a ton of furniture, so it'll be nice to sell the furniture. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's check the price again. What was it? We're at about fifty five hundred right now. Yeah, so I I think we hold out maybe till next month or so, and we should be in good shape. To sell the furniture and we'll make a we'll make a nice profit I'll just leave this parked here okay so April that means I'm gonna kill the music for a little bit guys so April means we can now plant our corn we can plant the soybeans and we can plant the sorghum so let us get, since I have the planter, um, why don't we get the corn started on this field here. Actually, we'll use a different vehicle for that. Because I want to use, I want to use the 9R for the, uh, I want to use that with the seed hawk for the sorghum. So we use the fence to plant the corn. Yeah, I'm excited about getting that steering wheel. I, I hope it I hope it works out. I know driving driving vehicles is a lot more a lot more enjoyable and precise when you have a wheel and pedals. Okay, so let's set up a course play course for this. Right, clear that. All right. So field position, we want CP5. I just love the fact that you can change the field names. It makes it so convenient to see what 
what you have going on each field. Um, I'm going to do sharp headland corners since I do have some sharp corners here. Uh, let's do field margin 0.2. I don't know. Okay. This is going to be a quick job. This one is 12. I think this one is like 16, no, about 18 meters wide. So it is bigger than the previous cedar I was using. So we'll start this at first waypoint. And again, I'm not sure why it says course play up there in the upper right. Uh, I did download the latest version. Maybe that's supposed to mean something. Just tells you you have it installed or something. I don't know. going in okay all right now the other thing I want to do is I want to put down more fertilizer on some of these fields like my oat field for example which is patchy the new field which has all these splotchy areas where rocks would have been if I had rocks enabled um, we'll get we'll get a spreader on those uh, but first let's get let's get the sorghum going so we're going to bust out the seed hawk. Very exciting. First we got to fill it. Um, so I'll just, I'll pick up the air cart on its own first, since it'll be easier to fill that way. And I don't remember, did I get the auger on this? No. Okay, good. <laughs> That auger is kind of a pain in the butt. So we'll open up the lids. And we'll fill it with seed. Okay, I think I need to buy a lot more seed. So let's see what I have in here. Okay, I don't have any seed in here right now, so let's buy. Well, let's just bite the bullet. Let's buy 50,000 liters. And let's buy 50,000 liters of fertilizer. That's a lot of money up front, but we're going to use it, no doubt about that. And then I also have the silo set up down by the field as well, so if we need to refill, we can do that. Okay, pull forward, now we're filling the second compartment. And then for the third compartment, it should ask me if I want seed or fertilizer. And in that case, I think I'm going to pick fertilizer. Yeah, so 11,000 liters of seed. I love it. Yeah, we have no fertilization on that field right now, so this will give us our first stage. Okay, we'll pull forward a little bit more. Right, so here we have the choice for the third tank. You could put more seeds or you can do fertilizer. Uh, hey, Alfredo111, how are you? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so we'll put the solid fertilizer in that third bin. Takes a little while to fill up. Right, so this is one of the things I love about the Seed Hawk. I mean, besides just the fact that it's got a really wide implement, I just love how how much how much material you can put in it so that you can do big fields without having to reload. <coughs> Alright, so let's go get the tool. 
Now we got the we got the mid we got the in between configuration on this. Oh, I have to get that from the other side. So what that means is that the the toolbar goes in between the tractor and the cart. Now you can also set it up so that you drag the cart first and then have the toolbar behind the cart. But uh, this way seems better to me. Yikes. Alright. So you can see here, um, you can see all the air hoses hanging off the back for that configuration. And so when we hook up the cart, all those hoses will connect to the air cart. If I can back it up properly. There we go. All right. Yeah, so now you can see that all the hoses from the cart. <clears throat> you got the blowers in the back. They force air through the tubes. Um, as it as it the tubes pass by each of these hoppers, the hopper will drop a seed or a fertilizer into the tubes, and then they get blown up here and distributed to all the um, to all the points on the toolbar. Pretty cool piece of equipment. Uh, but it is a big rig. Like I said, it takes a while to set up. Um, it takes, you know, it takes some time and energy to turn this thing around when you get to the end of the row. So that's why it's really not something you would want to use on small fields or even medium sized fields, you'd probably get the job done just as quick or even quicker with a smaller implement. But for the big fields like we have down here, uh, this will make quick work of it. And then of course the large tank means that we don't have to refill it as often. So, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that, Alex. <laughs> we'll save that for uh, for another stream. Yeah, you wouldn't even be able to get this thing down the road in Calmston Farms. <laughs> it's a little too... too buku. In fact, this was... This was one of the things that motivated me to uh, to move that chicken coop because I couldn't even get it down the main lane in my farm on this map. It's quite a big tool. All right, so let's set up a course and let's get this sucker moving. See what she can do. All right, so field CP6. Oh, remind me to set remind me to set the crop to sorghum because I think it's on wheat or something. All right, yeah, nineteen point eight meters. So we'll do two headlands. That'll give us forty meters of turnaround room, which should be enough. We'll do smooth turns. And I'm going to do a smaller field margin. Let's do 0.6. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. That's the course. I wonder if I should force it to go north-south on these lines. Let's try that. That might give us longer runs. Right, so if we set the direction to automatic, or I'm sorry, to manual, we've got it at zero degrees. Let's see what that does. So 
So that will give us longer runs for the most part, although this part here might be a little, might be a little weird. Well, let's try it. Yeah, I'll make sure there's no offset. Yep. All right, so let's get to the first waypoint and let's start it up. So first we unfold. And unfold. And unfold. Hey, thanks for the sub, Alfredo, appreciate it. Oh yeah, change to sorghum, thank you, jeez. <laughs> I knew I was going to forget. Alright, and then it turns on and you can hear those... those fans going like crazy. And we're off to the races. Big machines for a big field. I love it. All right, let's check the map, make sure fertilizer is working. Okay, yep, fertilizer is working. Yeah, and we're good. I agree with you, Willie. Yeah, the Steiger will look good. That Botterstadt red. But I gotta, I do have to admit though, I do like this, I do like this RX. It is a beautiful machine. Tons of power. Yeah, so we're gonna miss a bit on the corners. Uh, just because the tool is so wide. Um, it Just a small turn makes a big difference on where the ends are. Right, but we're not gonna worry about that. It's insignificant. All right, so supposedly, oh, okay. Now I can see why that course play thing is up there. Let's move, let's let's try relocating the, um, let's try relocating the location of, the other thing, if I can remember where the setting is. Top right, uh, where do we want it? Bottom left, I think bottom left interfered with the chat window, right? Okay, yeah, so that tells me finished work. Oh, and yeah, nice. So you can click on it and get to your machine. Um, excuse me. What the hell? It didn't do anything.
think that planner might be bugged. Well, I don't know. Well, it did the sugar beets fine, but that's... I was driving it. I drove it myself to do the sugar beets. to sell this thing and get a different one. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to find good help. Yeah, we could try the AI worker. Um, but then I'm going to have to make I'm going to have to make headlands and it's going to do a terrible job. Well, let's get this field done, and then I think I'm, I'm probably just going to have to sell this thing and get a different one. Yet again. Yeah, that's true. Um, but isn't that isn't that John Deere? That John Deere is designed to run on liquid fertilizer, right? Will I still be able to do that without the tanks and stuff? Because the the Great Plains would be another option. That one's a lot cheaper. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're going to we're going to upgrade to that at some point anyway. But man, I just right now I hate to spend 400 grand on a cedar. Well, it's only money, right? Uh, this one I can sell, I can get about a hundred grand for it. Um, I just bought it. It was about like a hundred and thirty or so, I think. Let's let's get this field done and then we'll we'll decide what to do. I am considering the John Deere. That was one of our goals was to get that set up, so let me touch up this spot here and then we'll I'll just hire the vanilla AI to do this job. Okay, that should give it enough room to not get into too much trouble. Alright, we'll miss a little bit there. I'll fix that later. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Hey, did I tell you guys that my my monitor flashing issue got fixed? You know what the problem was? 
this. This needed a firmware update. It was causing an error. Yeah, it was, it was, oh, okay, I already told you. All right. <laughs> Never mind then. Uh, I'm getting old. <laughs> Did I tell you the time that I... Uh, yes, Grandpa, you told us already. It's like, well, I'm going to tell you again. I just like telling stories. Oh, well, thank you, Carrie Jane. Appreciate that. Yeah, so anyway, it was... Uh, I'm going to tell it again. <laughs> uh, the firmware on this... Uh, was causing a crash on some DLL. And so we upgraded the firmware to the controller and now my monitors are fine. Weird. Uh, yes, I did, as a matter of fact. In the snow. Both ways. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange. I thought so, and so did the technician that was helping me. But when I was telling him about what the issue was, and he connected to my machine, my, to my machine, and he he looked in the event viewer and saw these errors. Uh, he looked it up, and he found some Dark Souls player was having the same issue, and they upgraded the firmware, and that fixed it. So. We tried it, and I haven't had the problem since. Now, that being said, uh, this screen, this this one monitor that I'm running the game on, it does flicker on and off every once in a while, but I think that's a different issue. <laughs> that happened ever since I moved my PC when I got my new desk. So I'm thinking it might it might be my cable or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be like the center square on the bingo card, I think. Yeah. Now, the problem I had before was both monitors were doing it simultaneously. And if I was playing YouTube or something, on one of the screens, the video on YouTube would freeze, sometimes for up to a minute or two. Right, so now it's a different issue. Now it's just this one monitor flicks on and off every once in a while. But yeah, um, I did I did check for looseness. It's not a loose cable, but maybe the cable itself is, you know, maybe it's broken or has a a loose wire or something. So I'll uh, I'll probably just buy a new cable and see if that fixes that. Really, what I want to do is get a new graphics card one of these days. But we'll wait until the prices are somewhat reasonable. I'm running a 2070 Super. Which is pretty good, but when you're streaming and stuff, it puts a lot of load on it. So, Okay. Well, this is running fine, as you can see. Um, we've used 20% of the seed in the first tank, and then we have another 5,600 liters in the second tank. And we got plenty of fertilizer, so... Yeah, the seed hawk is sweet. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Alex. I'd have to get, like, a... home equity line of credit to... <laughs> to afford a new... GPU. Anyway, I, I don't really... I don't really need it. It would just be nice to have. Put that on my... Christmas list. For one of these years. Uh, what do we got here for slurry... Uh, yeah, not quite enough to fill the tank, so I won't bother making a run on the slurry right now. Let's see our, how our planter is coming along. Did I pass it already? Oh, here we go. Hey, Lanesta. So, guys. Maybe it's the field. Uh, okay.
Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do this field by myself. I must have bugged it somehow. That is freaking weird. Alright, let me turn on the GPS. I'm going to go north. And it never goes the direction that I tell it to. Why? Why GPS? Why? Do this the old-fashioned way. Just like Grandpa used to do when he was repeating stories about his computer problems. Well, fortunately, it's a small field, so it'll only take a few minutes. Gov tree. <laughs> Put some more music. It's a good time for some montage music. Yeah, it's, isn't it strange that both course play and the AI would be having problems on with my field? Can't quite explain that. But this corn will be for silage to feed the cows. We don't need a ton of it, which is why we're doing this on a fairly small field. Not only that, but when you uh, when you use the forage harvester on corn, you get quite a lot of chaff from not a lot of corn. So, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it. I I would say probably it's the planner that has some sort of a weird bug in it. It is a mod, and I think it was converted from FS19 rather than built for FS22, so... Yeah. So yeah, we'll just... we'll replace it. Too bad, I, I do... I do like this... Uh, I do like this planner otherwise, it's a great size. Holds a lot of seed. Uh, that could be too, Willie. I don't know. I guess we'll we'll try it with another cedar, and if if we still have an issue, then we know that it wasn't the cedar, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I probably ought to just remove that tree. Alright, and then I think after this, I think we're done with the planter. Yeah, we could do that too. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I'll hold on to it until next season. I think this is the last, the last job I have for it. I guess I could use it to plant soybeans, yeah. Good thinking. Okay.
Yeah, so soybeans are going on that field to the south of here. So let's just refill the seed. And then we'll go do that. The repair bills on this fin are just killing me. Oh yeah, well here's the other thing, you can't open the lids when it's folded. I don't know if that's intentional, but it is slightly annoying. I could always sell this, yeah. I could sell this one and buy another one just like it. <laughs> Whoops. Turbo was in between the wheels. Nothing happened to him. <laughs> no animals were harmed in the making of this stream. Okay. Um, does this thing direct drill? I think I have to cultivate this sealed first. Let's try it. Seems like it works. Okay, yeah. That works. Alright, so let's try setting up course play for this one. Yeah. Yeah, I did I did a I did a field refill with it when I was using it on the sugar beet field and you have to unfold it and then you get your you get your seed tender here on the side and then you can just barely reach the seed bin with the auger. I didn't have to refill the fertilizer fortunately. But. Okay. Let's see how it does on this field. So if it works on this field and not the other one, then I'm going to be really puzzled because what about a field? Yeah, maybe it's that barn. Maybe it's a silo. <coughs> that could be it. Alright, well, we'll see how we do here. Alright. Oh, no. Go, buddy. Go. You can do it. Let's see. I wonder where he's trying to go. Oh, crap. Okay. I think we're trying to get to this row here. Um, I should probably try changing the turn radius settings on this vehicle. Or maybe I should have it skip rows, huh? Skipping rows might be a good idea. Let's uh, let's stick with it and see what it does here at the end of this row. Yeah, 
Yeah, Alex, you're talking about that Brazil... That Brazil silo. It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? I gotta fix my green screen settings. Bear with me a second. See that it's missed a little bit there. I wonder what the vertical offset does. Let's reduce that by a meter. Yeah, because it's it's considering the cart in its average length. Let's try changing that. Let's set that to minus two meters. Because <clears throat> it looks like it lowered the tool a little bit too late down here. Well, it made that turn okay, but yeah, I think I think probably s skipping a row would be better for this machine. Well, let's see. Let's see how we do on this turn now. We'll do three headlands next time. So hopefully it doesn't have to reverse. Okay. No, that turn radius is okay. It's not hanging up on the you know, the toolbar's not hanging up on the on the tracks or anything. But yeah, backing this thing up is... Not an easy thing. I wonder if I can tell it not to try to back up. Let's turn that off and see what happens. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that might prevent the reverse as well. We are missing a lot of spots. But again, all the little spots on such a big field, it doesn't really... It's not really going to affect the yield appreciably. But let's let's see the turn at the end of this pass. <clears throat> let's check on our other guy while we're at it. Alright, see you Willie. Enjoy your day. Thanks for hanging with us.
well, it's still reversing, but uh, the way the tooltip was worded makes me think that maybe it only applies when you create the course and not when you're actually running it. Okay, now just go. Don't... See, you could have just gone from there. And my offset didn't help. Hmm. Strange. So I'll just change that back to what it was. Alright, so let's put the I'll put the reverse setting back to where it was. Let's lower tools early and see if that makes a difference. Alright, let's check on our planter, our other planter. Huh. Maybe it was the field. You know what, though? I don't like... I don't like having the inspector there. I'll move it back to where it was. <laughs> Have a good lunch, Doris. up the offset again. Look at that. Why do I have offset screwed up? Yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of this thing. Eighteen percent on the headland? Okay. I'll try that next time. See, now why didn't you back up? Okay, well, I'm going to have a lot of touch-up to do on both of these fields, I think. Anyway, not a big deal. They're getting the job done, essentially. So let's take a look at our production chains here. Let's see where we are. Strawberries is doing fine. We still have a lot of flour. Oh, you know what? I wanted to add the second bakery. Let's, let's do that now. While our workers are taking care of the fields. I'm going to do the industrial bakery. And I think we'll do that over here. In our, you know, secondary production area, whatever we want to call this place. Whoops. Let's check used again, just to see if anything else. No, nope, nothing else. Okay. So production, and then I want the industrial bakery, which is a mod, so I expect it to be down here near the end someplace. 
There's all the no handcuffs. The BGA stuff. There's the industrial bakery. Okay. That appears to be the front of the building. And this looks like a fine place for it. Over here next to the dairy. Um, looks like it loads in... Well, where does this stuff come out? I can't see where it unloads. Oh, okay. It unloads there in the front, too. All right. Yeah, so let's just plop it down right there. Asphalt all here in the front. Uh, let's see. Here, there'd probably be a larger area that's paved, and there would probably be a bit of a driveway to get from the front to the back. Maintenance vehicles and such. Okay. That looks good. All right, now let's do a little decoration here. Uh, let's take some of these bushes. Do kind of like a little hedge around the side. And then we'll throw in a few trees around. tree. Let's get a big elm tree. There we go. Okay, and a few more bushes here and there, just to uh, make it look a little more natural. There we go. Yeah, it was an expensive elm tree. Yeah, the trees are not cheap. But they do look nice. Definitely makes the map. Okay. So, in the industrial... Okay, see Alfredo. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, so in the industrial bakery, we'll make cake. So we'll set that to distributing, distributing. Um, and then as the raw ingredients become available, they'll start to, um, you know, we'll get to the point that we can produce. Um, and then we'll see, we'll see whether we're going to need additional, um, additional production buildings. Well, for example, maybe we'll need maybe we'll need another greenhouse to support two bakeries. I'm not sure yet. Um, maybe we'll need more cows. You know, we'll we'll do what we have to scale it up 
as we go once we see if it's able to get everything it needs okay so this one's doing good almost ready for a refill on seed rather than bring the seed tender out here I think once it's ready I'll just run it over there to the supply silo and fill it up myself <laughs> yeah that's right we could put a we could put a creek in here somewhere if we wanted to you can add water uh, all you have to do is dig down deep enough yeah see I don't like that that's this is kind of a common issue I've seen with course play before so even though I set it to lower the tool early, it still leaves that bit of a missed spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it has to do with the vertical with the vertical offset. This is a big a big tool. But yeah, it's it's kind of cool how the uh you get the lime on the tractor and and on the toolbar, but then you don't have much lime or any lime on the cart because the lime's been worked in by the time it rolls over it. Okay, well that turn looks a lot better than the previous ones did. I think it's just not able to get its turn finished. I think if I did three headlands it, it might be a lot better. Next time we'll do it with three. Okay. So let's check our production. Um, so the bakery, I'm not going to... Yeah, see, we've already got some sugar coming in. we got some strawberries, eggs, and butter. Um, we won't be able to start it until we, until we harvest the sorghum to make flour. So uh, let's see. The BGA is still going. We're still making lots of clothes. That's good. Uh, there's no milk in the dairy currently. We'll want to make more butter to get that second bakery supplied. So I think we'll take the next load of milk. Yeah, we'll take the next load of milk to the dairy. All right, we still have plenty of wood. And the cotton's almost finished. And the bakery's going like gangbusters. So we're doing good there. Let's check on the animals. Uh, chickens could use some more feed. Cows are doing fine. And the sheep are doing fine. All right, now let's watch what happens here. Yeah, I think it's just, it's just not... Oh, well, now that one's fine. Of course, when I watch it, everything's perfect. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, let's feed the chickens. We're going to have to feed the chickens more often with this, um, 
with this hen house because um, <clears throat> the vanilla one holds 9,000 seed or grain. This one holds 10,000, which is more, but it also holds almost twice as many chickens. So um, we're going to go through grain more quickly with this building than we did with the other ones. Oh, you know what? Now that I have this out, let's go do... Let's get the fertilizer. And actually, I wanted to get... I wanted to replace my fertilizer spreader with a different one because I want to see if... There's a modded one that I think is width adjustable. And I want to try that because that would... Um, that might work well with the Proceed mod that I've been wanting to try out. So I'll pick up the old cedar and um, I'll take it to the shop and trade it in for the for the other one that I'm thinking of. Or maybe I should just lease that one first. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go lease it. I need to do a field over that way anyways. And I'll check, but I think because I'm in the first stage of growth, I think I can drive over the crop without narrow tires and not damage anything. Test it real quick on the way there. Well, the one that I have is an Amazon, and that one can't change the width either. just drive drive up onto the field to see if it's yeah okay we're good it is modded yeah maybe that's why hmm okay well let's take a look at what we have here maybe I don't need it maybe I just need the non modded one rather than a different one altogether. Hey, Doris. Looking well fed. Oh, I don't want construction. <clears throat> Alright. Fertilizer spreaders. So this one you can change the width. Right, and this is the one that I have. Okay. <clears throat> and this is the one I was thinking about using. Because I know this one is adjustable. Um, this Rouch, this is a really cool piece of equipment. Um, but this one is not adjustable. Ironically. Um, I leased one of these to see if it was, and it's not. All right, so this holds this holds up to 3,200, which would be fine. Anti-mud guards. Hmm, that's pretty neat. You can get a trailer hitch on it. Interesting. This one's pretty nice. Okay, well, let's try it. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right.
Okay, great. Yeah, so this one you can change the width. Perfect. Yeah, so the reason I want a width adjustable one is because with the Proceed mod, um, you get the best results when you can, when your fertilizer spreader um, is like a 2x or 3x multiple of the width of your planter or your seeder. So I figured that by having an, a spreader with an adjustable width, you could, you know, you could more easily achieve that. All right, I think I got some fertilizer over here. Let's see. Yeah, 3,000. Well, that should be enough for the first field at least. a nice looking machine. I like it. Now the advantage of the modded one that I was using is that it's very fast. Uh, it has a 26 kph working speed so um, we will suffer a bit of a disadvantage by not having that. <clears throat> but fertilizing is still a pretty quick job anyway so we'll, we'll see if we can live with it. All right, so we want to do this field. I want to start right about here. Um, according to this, I will need about 1,800 liters. Now with course play, it's going to use more because you have, you know, it continues spraying while it's slowing down and speeding up and stuff, but the 3,000 that I have should still be sufficient. And I have to do that all over again. Okay. Should have made the course first. All right. So, single headland. Field margin. Let's go one meter. Okay. Start job. All right. So this is only going to fill in the bits. Uh, this is something that I've noticed that I guess maybe is a little bit annoying. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but even when you have stones disabled, when you plow a field, you don't get any fertilization where the stones would have been if they were turned on, uh, which is kind of strange. So that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm just touching up all this uh, splotchiness so that we get a full two stages of fertilizer on the field. So, uh, so it's a bit of a waste since most of what I'm spreading this fertilizer on doesn't need it, but I do want to get it evened out because if you leave it like that, it'll just, you know, it'll persist. I guess you could wait it till after the first harvest and it wouldn't, you know, once it goes down to zero, I guess it would even out that way, but, um, enough of the field is like that, that I wanted to touch it up and I'll be doing the same. Um, we'll have to spray this field and I want to do this one too because that one's really got a lot of bad patches. Ah, uh, it's from the, is it from the bushes? Okay. That could be it. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe you're right. Hmm. Yeah, I hadn't considered that. I thought it was because of rocks, but now that you mention it, I think you're right because the rocks would be a lot more evenly distributed, wouldn't they? Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's go refill this bad boy. Yep, 
Yeah, we're going to have a lot of touch-up to do on this field. sure if I have any seed in here. Ah, 120 liters. That's not going to last very long, will it? Let's just get another 5,000. thousand each of six different things. Uh, this is not the field I'm working on. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, nearest waypoint. There we go. Yeah, guys, I, I think it's I think it's time to retire the fence. Let's see. Do I have? Let's see if I have some ramps I can put in the yard to put it in its final resting place. I thought I did have a ramp of some kind. Yeah, it's not there. Oh, under decoration? Yeah. Yeah, there's a ramp. I think there's a mod for vehicle ramp as well. But we could maybe... Okay. Yeah, I'll look for that one. What the... This stupid, this cedar is what's causing the problem. Here, what happens if I lower it myself first? That's weird. better. Oh no. Alright. Yep. 
Definitely more headlands next time. Let's see if I can get unstuck here. I don't think so. Let's try to back it up. There we go. I guess I'll just finish it on my own. I'll try to. some touch up with this one too. Watch and learn course play. This is how you do it. <laughs> Just raise it, turn around, lower it, and go. You don't even have to stop or back up or anything. Well, like I said, this thing is really meant for long runs. Like where you have these... Uh, Where you have these mile long fields, like in the Midwest. And turning around is only about 2% of your total work. I hate to say it, but this, even this field might be a little bit too small for the Seed Hawk. Have to find a bigger map. Hear that or remove more trees. Removing trees will be uh, more and more of an option once I get these joysticks set up. <laughs> Should make removing trees pretty easy. Yeah, no kidding, Alex. Well, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to find a good a good 4X map. I've been playing on County Line. I, I don't think... I like the feel of the map. It really, you know, it really feels like a good Midwestern American map, but... I just don't like the setup of the of the farmyards and stuff. <laughs> yeah, potatoes on this field, that would be nuts. Well, I mean, not that nuts. I'm sure I'm sure people do potatoes on fields like this, but <clears throat> Let's go check up north. <laughs> oh, on the whole map field, yeah. That would be uh, that would be an interesting punishment for somebody. <laughs> Cruel and unusual. This thing, uh, this thing sucks a lot of power. I can't even get up to top speed with this thing turned on. Good thing we got this big meaty tractor. It's 
692 horsepower or whatever it is. You know what we could do, Alex, maybe, maybe now would be a good time to buy another, a second X9. Yeah, you know what, actually Fox Farms looks good, is that 4X? saying yes to the X9 or yes to the 4X? Oh, Fox Farms is not 4X. Oh, okay. It feels really big. Oh, okay. I mean, the fields are pretty large. That, that, may, that might be a good candidate for the next map to play on. Yeah, I'd, I'd like something like that with just some really big fields. I kind of like the bin silos, you know. Um, I guess... If we can get, you know, yeah, I'm thinking like something with like 30, 40, 50 hectare fields is what I'd like to play on next. Even if we didn't have all the production and stuff, I'm fine with that. I mean, the production is is interesting. It, it kind of makes, I guess the nice thing about production is it gives you some, it gives you a reason to make the decisions on what you're going to grow besides just what are, you know, which one's selling for the most. You know, which is always going to be soybeans. So. Alright, so that job's done. Uh, and that worked out well. Yeah, so let's, let's get another X9. So we can run... We can run two harvesters on that field. That'll be fun. That was another one of our goals. Man, 40 kilometers per hour seems a lot slower than it used to. So maybe we'll, maybe when I retire the Fent, we'll get an 8RX to replace it. That'll get us a little bit closer to our other goal. Alright. Before I go any further, um, I want to take care of this. I think I might put some fencing around that little thingy. Alright, so I'll wash it. I think uh, when it comes time for maintenance on the seed hawk, I'll probably just have to use my toolbox. I'm not going to try to back that thing into the garage.
Huh. It does get deactivated, just like they said. Look how big this thing is. Jeez. I love it. Love the big equipment. Okay, so let's disconnect the air cart and then we'll park the toolbar. Put that next to the shed like it was before. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, I like this thing. But I'm thinking unless we get more really big fields, it might not really be worth keeping. just try to expand that field that we've already got well let's just see let's just see if we need if we need more sorghum then we'll do it you know I don't want to make big fields just for the sake of making big fields if we need it we will um, we'll have to cut down some forest next to it but I'll be more than happy to do that I like using that forestry machine. Okay. What else we got running? I think our 7R should be done with the fertilizing. Okay. And then we'll have to do the field that we just planted. Um, although for that, we'll have to wait for the next growth stage, right? So let's go do that other field. Uh, the one with the the one with oats on it. Looks like this one is done too, so we'll have to do the touch up on this field. Ugh. Turbo. Careful. So that's CP4. I might have a course for that already. I don't remember. Oh, I should have saved the one that I just did. All right, no, I don't. So we'll have to make another one. So this field, starting there. Same settings should be fine. forget to push the button to generate the course of course okay so let's save that that's CP4 uh, for and that'll only take a few minutes
Let's make sure it's working. Ah, uh, there we go. Now this doesn't update in real time, but much better. That makes me happy. All right, this field looks beautiful now. Um, all these little dots are a little odd. All right, let's see, can I select this here? Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's uh, let's do some cleanup on this field. Huh. My tractor is still at 100%. Now I know that course play will perform repairs if it drops below certain levels, so maybe that's why. Hey Alex, do you happen to know the name of that ramp mod? Because uh, I think once I finish this, I will load that up. Okay, thank you. Yeah, if you don't mind, uh, I appreciate the help with that. That way I don't have to spend a lot of time searching for it. I'm going to want to take a short break here in a second anyway. Alright. Placeable ramp. Alright, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this planter. Because it's weird. And then we'll we'll see what the, we'll see what the fent is worth if I sell it, and then we'll decide if we'll decide if we want to keep it for display or not. <laughs> we're just going to be constantly like flicking past it in the over you know when we're switching vehicles, but I guess it's not a it's not a big deal. I got a gazillion vehicles already anyway. That's one more. Huh? Maybe we should repaint it. I wonder what that would cost. Okay, I'm going to repaint it. Make it look nice. Of course, now that it's repainted and it looks nice, maybe I want to keep using it. <laughs> I mean, let's think about it. If it costs me If it costs me two grand in repairs every time I do a job with it, is that really worth replacing it over? I mean, I don't know. I spend, maybe I spend like 15, 20 grand per year on repairs on this vehicle. A new vehicle is going to cost me probably at least 400K. So I'd have to drive it for like 10 years to make it worth replacing this one. Yeah, I guess it deserves a rest. Okay. 
All right, let's look at. Um, well, let's let's take it back home. Now, since I redid my farmyard, I think all my auto drive courses are going to be completely messed up. I might have to redo them, but let's just go farm shed, and hopefully, there's nothing in the way. Yeah. No, I think we'll... Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely keep it. Yeah. And we could still use it from time to time for odd jobs, I guess. Um, yeah, let's wait for it to get back here, and then we'll do the... Uh, we'll get that placeable sheds mod. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to run fertilizer on? No, I think for now we're good. Uh, maybe the cotton field. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave the cotton field. Um, I do want to fertilize the sorghum. Whoa, Twistech, thank you very much. Five gift subs. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Very kind of you. Appreciate that support. Okay, so we are going to keep we are going to keep this. Excuse the uh, distraction there. We are going to keep this fertilizer spreader because this will be nice for doing the tram lines. I think my wife's pulling into the garage. She went out for a walk with one of her friends. Uh, this one is full of fertilizer, though, so I do want to empty that out before I sell it. So we'll do that right here. No, I, I bought it, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Twistech, that was, uh, the little one is Cooper. There we go. The little one is Cooper and the big one is Susie. Those are my, my pets. All right, so I'll just sell this one from here. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to redo. I'm going to have to redo all my auto drive stuff. Um, it'll probably be worth the time. Especially as the farm is getting bigger, I've noticed that I'm spending an awful lot of time driving around. Yeah, I think it I think I think it only scratched the paint on the weight. So we should be we should be good. Oh, very nice. Oh. Hang on a second. Okay. Um Twistec, sorry about that. The uh, the bot. All right. So Twistec was saying he has a coon hound, but the bot didn't like it. Yeah. Because um, the word coon has, at one point or another, been used as a uh, as a slur. Not in this case, of course. But uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, and your other one was a Pyrenees, you said? Beautiful dogs. The K brand? Hmm. 
All right, let's fill that up. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, well. This is the world we live in. Okay. Um, let me put a little bit of fence around this. I think that would look nice. I wonder if there's like a low fence that's... You know, like, like landscape fencing. What is that? Oh, that's a gate. Um, yeah, I don't want to put a hedge around it. Well, you know what? This I think this kind of fence would be perfect. Um, collides with another item. No, it doesn't. All right. How about if we do that? Is that electric? Is that electrified fence? Okay, no, that's just like. Uh... There. That's good enough. All right. Yeah, that's not electrified. <laughs> that would have been weird. <laughs> I guess we don't really need barbed wire, but anyway, that's kind of the look I was after. Okay. Hey, Jay, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, I'd, <laughs> I wouldn't want to use the construction fence. Okay, so let's, um, let's load up that ramp mod so we can find a place of honor for the fence. Uh, so I'll have to come out of the game here momentarily. Let's restart it. Ugh. I have to wait for Steam Cloud. <clears throat> I don't like using Steam Cloud usually, but I started to... I started to have some anxiety attack the other night as I was laying in bed and thinking what happened, what would happen if I lost my save games. <clears throat> so at least this way I've got a, a cloud backup. Oh, I got to load the mod first. All right. So I'm assuming that's under decorations. Maybe we're looking for a placeable ramp. This looks a lot like the one. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a little bit better. All right, that's the one we'll use. So we'll install that. Okay. Um, Jay, I don't think I have on farm sim. I mean, it's, it's happened to me before. Um, I don't I don't recall if it's happened to me on farm sim before. But anyway, it was just it was just something that I started to worry about. So I thought this was a simple way I could avoid a catastrophic loss. Um, yeah, the other and then I want to turn on proceed. I guess we'll we'll have to wait until next season to use it, I suppose. <clears throat> but I would like to set that up the next time. Run some tram lines on the fields. It's not necessary, but it's kind of interesting to kind of interesting to do. Yeah, and I've been thinking. Um, I don't have any backup on my PC, so I've been thinking about buying a. Maybe buying a cheap USB 
um, what do you call those things? Like the disk array? A NAS? Well, it wouldn't even have to be network attached. But anyway, one of those boxes that can hold multiple drives, you know, and just filling it with some cheap uh, hard disks uh, so I can back up my entire machine. I have three terabytes. Three? No, I have two and a half terabytes of SSD storage on my machine, so that's what I would need to back up. It's not all full, but... And then I can just have a Cronus or something like that running. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Alex. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Just some that attaches with the USB and it's not too expensive. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just moving these over here to get those out of the way. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, 50 bucks is not bad at all. Okay. So where should we put the vent? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up, we're going to put that ramp somewhere where we can just park the vent. Uh, maybe out here next, actually over here someplace would be cool, but I don't want it to get in the way of the water. Um, let's see, that was in decoration, right? All right, it wasn't that one. Hmm. Let's check if it's in plants. Uh, what did I miss? Nerd Farms. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it and welcome. Oh, it's in tools. Okay, thank you. Ah, there we go. Oh, and there's two versions. The low and the high. Okay. What if we put it like right there? Or we could put it over here. Eh. Or maybe right here. Yeah. I think we should put it right here. At an angle. Yeah. Like that. Cool. Yeah, and then we'll decorate around it. We'll put some lights and stuff. Let's just do this. Okay. I think I'm I'm feeling like maybe I'll just leave it like this without any without any vegetation around it. And we'll put a few of these We'll put a few of these lights around the ramp. And I think that'll look pretty cool at night. Let's see, what other decoration do we have? Maybe a couple small boulders would be cool. Small boulders, I said.
These small rocks keep getting bigger and bigger. Okay. I kind of like that. Let's make it a little more symmetrical, though. So for any of you guys wondering what the heck is going on. <laughs> Lanesta, I like the way that you think. For anyone who's wondering what's going on, this... I bought this tractor very, very early on in the save. It was used when I bought it. And I have... I just hit 50 hours with it. Um, so we've decided that it's time to retire the tractor. And so we're putting it in a place of honor rather than sell it since it's served us so well on the farm here. So we're just going to put it up here and leave it on display for all to see. We just had it repainted, so it's looking looking sharp as ever. I love it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take a look at it. Actually, I think we're I think we're done today, right? We got everything planted. Um, all my vehicles are back home. Yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's fast forward to nighttime and see how she looks. It would be cool if we could turn the tractor lights on at night, like the running lights, you know. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a screenshot right there. Hang on. Whoa, whoa. I don't want the chainsaw. But yeah, that's a screenshot right there. Um, yeah, we can put more lights. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what... It would be good to have some light, a little bit of lighting from above. In fact, I wonder if we could put lights on the... I wonder if we could put lights on the ramp itself. Oh, yeah. Yes, we can. Okay, I'm slightly off center. We'll have to fix that. Maybe one here. Yeah, baby. Now we're talking. Okay, I just need to get this thing... I just need to get this thing centered better. back. Okay. Yeah, like that. Yeah, 
And we can put another one in the back too. Awesome. All right, time for a screenshot. Yeah, and let me. Let me get. I need to get it lower in the frame so when I put it on the thumbnail, it's below the. All right, cool. That is awesome. Yeah, you know what? It would be more realistic probably if it had those. I agree with you, Lanesta. I wish I could make that course play silly thing disappear. I wonder if there's a setting for that. Oh, that would be in the course play settings, wouldn't it? Um, let's see. Does that turn it off? Ah, there we go. Yeah, here's another screenshot. Nice. I love it. Okay. Time to go to bed. Yeah, it could use some blocks behind the wheels. I think that would be a good touch. Um, but I don't think we have anything like that. <laughs> yes, we should do that. used bah. used equipment's been kind of disappointing lately I guess it's because we already own pretty much everything that we need yeah okay um, yeah so just just for giggles <laughs> that won't be permanent, but we do have to try it. Lizard bear? No, I don't think so. Is that the four-wheeler or something? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll probably have to get that then. But we can work up a good head of steam on this pickup truck. <laughs> Whee! We are the terror of Hazard County. Watch out, Turbo. We're having fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so 
So we'll leave that there for a little while to have fun with it. All right. Uh, so now uh, we need to do more fertilizing. So let me get that fertilizer spreader that I just put away. Uh, so we can add, we need to add more fertilizer to the field with the sorghum. And I think we need to, I think we need to spray the weeds too. Oh. Yeah, because I haven't plowed that one recently. if you could throw on another tank doesn't uh, doesn't that brand have a uh, I thought I thought that there was a uh, ooh, that one's neat <laughs> I think we might have to try that one of course we might get more bugs but isn't there a, isn't there like a tank? Yeah. That's a front mount tank, right? Uh, but the, with those wheels, it wouldn't, wouldn't really make sense for what we're doing now. Okay. Well, let's go and get that fertilization started on that field and then we'll, we'll run some milk Looks like we got wool to pick up. Uh, we'll probably need to clear eggs out of the way. Uh, and then we can maybe purchase our 9R. Or not the 9R, the uh, X9, our second harvester. Oh yeah, and we're going to have to spray for weeds everywhere. Okay. Alright, so we'll get this going first, and then we'll get out the sprayer. And we're going to have to buy a gazillion dollars worth of herbicide. Okay. Have a good lunch, Lanesta. See you soon. Just double check to make sure that this field does need it. Uh, turn off the weeds. Yeah, so this one and the cornfield both need fertilizer. Let me just make sure I can drive on it. Okay, yep, it's safe to drive on. And I don't think I have any course for this. Nope. So this will be CP6. Save that. Just make sure I get started okay. There we go. And make sure it's actually getting applied. And it is. Okay. Good. Now let's get our sprayer which we haven't used in a while.
Let's see. Well, I'll just... I'll buy 50,000 liters of it. We'll use it eventually. Alright, so let's see. Which ones do I need to spray for weeds? Just one and six. And I guess the others have all been plowed recently, so they don't need herbicide. So we'll do number one first, since there won't be any interference on that field. Now, I've heard talk that using herbicide reduces yield, but I I don't know if I've seen it myself. So I want to check I want to check the yield bonus before and after to see if anything shows up there. You can unload into that silo? Okay, I didn't think you could, but if you can, that would be awesome. Maybe we can try it. Okay. Do I have a course for CP1? Oh, I do. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Oh, only from the sprayer. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, because if I can... If I can spray liquid fertilizer too, that... Well, I won't be able to use the proceed thing then, but it might be it might be the best way to go. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> this thing is crazy. you want to do it. Yeah, liquid fertilizer is more expensive. Um, it, it costs a lot more per liter than solid, but it doesn't, you don't, it doesn't apply as quickly. Um, so I've, I've seen the math on it and solid fertilizer is less expensive, but it's not, it's not like a, it's not by a huge margin. It's like I want to say something on the order of 5 or 10% less expensive to use solid fertilizer over liquid. It's not a huge difference. But with the liquid, you do get to use cool machines like this one, which uh, are very fast and cover a lot of area pretty quickly. So, Bainstorm, thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream, and uh, Bainstorm, thank you very much for for bringing your friends over, you're all welcome here. We're playing on no man's land. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep those emotions in check or the, the bot doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, we're just uh, playing farm sim here on No Man's Land. Um, I've got... I have a little over 100 hours or so on this map so far. I'll give you guys a quick overview. Um, this is where we are so far. I've got several big fields several smaller ones yeah yeah we've been working on this one for a while and and we still have a lot to do so it's been fun seeing the farm grow and develop um, <clears throat> so our main our main product is cake so we got this big field with sorghum that we're using to uh, turn into flour um, I planted sugar beets over here that's to make sugar uh, soybeans we're just growing just to sell it because we have we have the field and we don't need anything else. I'm also doing clothing, so we're planting we planted cotton here, and then I've got oats here for straw 
for the cows and uh, we're doing corn there for silage for the cows. So we're, we're in the spring. We just planted our fields last month and uh, I'm spraying for weeds on this one. Yeah, yeah, this is a build your own. Um, it's quite fun actually when you, when you start on the map. Well, here I can show you. You have all these plots of land, right? These are the ones that I own so far. Um, yeah, and they're and they're all undeveloped. The the map on this map you don't start with any fields. You have to make all your own. Uh, so let me show you. Let me show you the farm. Get into flight mode here. That'll make it a little bit easier. Okay, so starting back here, um, this is my this is my workshop and storage shed. Uh, I've got some implements over here. Uh, cotton harvester. There's my seed hawk. Um, this is uh, this is a silo for seed and fertilizer, things like that. I've got a big shed here where we store most of our tools. And then over here, another shed for vehicles. My silos. Uh, I'm still living in this fairly humble house. Uh, we got a greenhouse for strawberries. Again, that's for the cakes. Uh, over here is where we... Uh, that's root crop storage. We got sheep. That's my hay dryer. So we just dump in grass and it makes hay for us. There's the cow shed. I uh, got chickens over here. Uh, another silo to store straw and grass and things for the cows mainly. And then another shed here where I've got some implements that I use over in this area. Our silage clamp, uh, which we're going to be filling up with corn chaff once our corn is harvested. Um, we just set this up. I just retired. Uh, this Fent 1050 was one of the first tractors I purchased way back at the beginning. So we just retired it and put them in a place of honor there. Um, I've got a nice custom farm sign over here. Right. Um, we're using the, we're using the modular BGA, which is over here. Let me speed up a little bit. Yeah, so we're using the modular BGA to use up our slurry from the cows uh, and turn that into dollars. Over here is where we do secondary production, I would say. Oh, the fence got 50 hours. It's got a little over 50 hours, so I figured at that point I was repairing it like every five minutes, you know. So we decided to retire it at that point. I took it in and got it repainted and everything. All right, so that's our um, that's our furniture, our furniture shop where we're making furniture. We do some forestry here. Um, the dairy, which makes butter for the cakes, and sometimes we make chocolate. I have an industrial bakery here, which we just placed. We haven't started using it yet. Uh, and then here I have the spinnery where we make cloth. Over here on this section of the map, we've got the grain mill that makes the flour from the sorghum. This is my this is my sorghum field. As you can see, it's a pretty large field. Um, but from this field, I get enough. I can make enough flour to keep to keep at least one bakery running all year round. Um, and we're just and we just added another one. Uh, that's the sugar mill. Over here, I have a I have a mod. Um, I put my sugar beets in there, and it chops them up for the sugar mill. You get a little more sugar that way. Um, this is the sawmill, and then this is a warehouse, a distribution warehouse. So all my products get distributed to the warehouse first, and then anything that I sell, um, I just pull out of the warehouse with this truck here and take it to sell. So it's really convenient. It puts everything in one location. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, and then down here, this is the original bakery, right? So, uh, this one is, 
Oh, and this is um, this is a modded this is a modded bakery that has five x the output of the vanilla bakery. So um, this one is making bread and cakes, and then this is the tailor shop that's making the clothing. Um, this is making bread and cakes, but we've expanded to the point where we can where I feel like we can run that bakery and this one. We might have to expand a little bit more, but eventually we'll have two bakeries making making cake for us. All right, so I've got a million in the bank right now. Um, I've got a loan of 6.3 million. So, <laughs> so we still have a lot of work to do before we can get our loan paid off. And uh, so once we're making lots of money and we get the loan paid off, then we'll think about moving on to another map. So, we'll take this back to the farm and refill it. Excuse the, uh, excuse the barking. It's okay, buddy. And then we'll go spray our other big field. Where we're still spreading fertilizer, but it looks like we're... We've still got some in the tank. We'll probably have to refill it. Oh, and that ramp there is that's just for goofing around. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's try that. Ah, yes, you can. Ah, that is so cool. Okay, nice. Yeah, that that is really good that they put that feature in. So now you can you can use the same sprayer and you don't have to unload it into pallets every time you want to change fluids. That's nice. Great feature. The cotton field is pretty ugly. We had some <laughs> we had some technical issues with course play. Oh, you know what? Let me repair this thing. I'm at I'm only at 83% on it. I'll see if I if I just back into the shed just enough. If I can hopefully I can repair it. Let's see. Okay, awesome. That's my uh, my customized pickup truck. Very handy. Uh, this is a this pickup truck is from Northwest Edits, Northwest Mods and Edits. Uh, they have a Facebook page where you can download it. It's got a it's got a diesel transfer tank in the back, um, and then I use the the toolbox mod. Right, so you throw that in the back, and with your fuel, you can you can repair and refuel your vehicles in the field. It's very handy. Yeah, so I took that mod, and then I just I took the time to stick my logo on the side. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, Alex, I'll have to check and see if it's. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'll have to check and see if it's possible to unload anything else into there. Oh, and thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, I will I will give you a follow after as well when I'm done so I can catch your stream. What were you what were you playing today? Were you doing farm sim as well? Oh, Calmston, nice. Beautiful map. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. 
I crash my vehicles a lot on Calmston, but... <laughs> High fashion. Okay. Alright, where is my fertilizer? He's around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay, well we'll try... We'll try spraying this field too, and hopefully they won't collide. Uh, that's CP6, right? Okay, so we'll have to save the course this time. First, let's clear the one we've got. All right. Thanks a lot, Beanstorm. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. I'll return the favor. And we'll see you next time. Okay. So we're going to pick this field and I would like to start around that place and one headland is fine. We definitely don't need 3.6 meters of field margin. I'll do 0.6. That ought to work. Okay, that looks good. And it looks like my, my other tractor just ran out of fertilizer. So we'll get this one started and then we'll refill that one. Okay, start at first waypoint. Did I save this? No, let's save it first. CP6. We'll call this CP6. Spray. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those weeds. Yeah, and that it was it was nice to get that raid, and that reminds me that I, I have not been raiding at the end of my streams lately, and I really should be doing that, so I don't just shut you guys off at the end. Okay. That's all set. Let's get a refill on this fella. Yeah, I, well, like I said, I haven't done it lately. I usually do, but I've just, I've just been absent-minded and haven't done it in a while, and I got out of the habit, so. Uh, so when we get close to ending, um, which will be in about 30 minutes from now, uh, we'll look for a good, a good place to land. Whoopsie, nope, nope, I don't want lime. Okay, I guess you can't overload. I guess you can't unload lime. <laughs> I want fertilizer, and I don't have any. Okay. Ugh. I hate spending huge chunks of money like that, but... We'll use it eventually. Okay, now in this case, it's going to be hard for me to see exactly where I finished. Well, I guess I could follow my tire tracks. Maybe it won't be as hard as I thought. Uh, yeah, it will. Okay, so this is where... This is where the last waypoint function comes in handy. Sometimes it doesn't work very well, um, but in normal circumstances, it should remember what the last waypoint it completed was. 
and then pick up where it left off, which I hope it's going to do in this case. Let's see. Okay, yeah, great. Beautiful. And then we just have to make sure that we don't have any collisions, which looks like we might get one here. <laughs> I think we'll be clear. <laughs> that sucks, Alex. <laughs> I guess that's a good way. That's like snow insurance, right? Just buy a, buy a snow plow or a snow blower and it'll never snow again. <laughs> Speaking of that, see if anything else. No, nothing else unused. Well, should we buy um, should we buy our X9 now? While these guys are running. I thought you would be up for that. All right. So harvester number two, guys. Now that we are rolling in the dough. All right. So we want the biggest extension we can get which is the Maurer XL. <laughs> I know you're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't remember what tires we got. We did get tracks, though, didn't we? I think it was that. Yeah, we got the wide tracks, I believe. Uh, we have the U.S. Design. We have the Deluxe Lights Premium with no radio. Or did we get the radio? I think we did get the radio. Um, all right, yeah, we'll do a no on that. I want the, yeah, that's the hitch extension I want. We want the long pipe with the foldable spout, right? Um, standard rear axis, I believe. That should be rear axle, I, I think. And then we want to put a number two on this one. I don't need GPS. Okay, I think that's it, right? I think that's that's the same configuration as we got on the other one, except for the number if I remember correctly. Okay. It's only $626,000. Maybe we should get a third one. Okay. Uh, let's see, where was that? That was on the design, right? Logo John Deere in default tanks. I don't think that actually shows though when I have the extension on it, does it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's why I left it at no. Okay. Nice. All right, and then we want the big header for it. The 50 footer. Please and thank you. <clears throat> and we need the header trailer for it, and I don't recall which one, so let's look at combinations. There we go, the Nardi. And I think the other one we just left as default colors. Okay, let's change the color. How's that? Good. 
Oh, you want green on top too? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. But definitely with the yellow wheels. <laughs> well, <laughs> you do complain a lot about my equipment, so I want to make sure. <laughs> I just want to make sure we don't have any anything to discuss after this. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, man. I love you. <clears throat> okay. Let's get the... I think I'm gonna... Let me let me get this header trailer in a... In a more spacious area. sakes. Excuse me one second, guys. That is... That is one thing I do not like about having dogs. They bark at any, absolutely any perceived intrusion on our property. And I say perceived because most of the time it's, there's absolutely nothing there. But, you know, they see, they see a shadow pass by the front of the house. They hear a car door close by, whatever. And it's and it's a major emergency every single time. And what stinks about it is that um, our little dog Cooper, the one who was barking loudly right next to me, um, he's the one that started that. Right? He was he was a rescue. He was he was he did that since we got him. So. And then we got our second dog, Susie, who's a standard poodle. You know, and pooter, poodles are pretty, are very chill. And we got her as a puppy from a breeder. So when we got her, um, at first she had absolutely no problem with people coming to the house, knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell. Um, you know, she didn't care at all. But over time, the little dog taught her to bark like a frickin' maniac <laughs> every time <laughs> every time something gets close to the house, so now we have both of them doing it. It's wonderful. I love them, though. I think it... Yeah, it should snap onto that header, right? Onto that trailer, I mean. Uh, well, yeah, that's good, and, and you know, and that's, I guess what you hope for is that the dogs will somehow know when there's, when it's really something unusual, but my, mine thus far have not really learned the difference between normal stuff and terrifying dangers. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to have to live with it. Causes me some anxiety, though. Like, we'll be sitting there watching TV, and then all of a sudden, you know, Cooper will be sitting on my lap, and then all of a sudden he'll just, like, leap up off of my lap and start barking his head off with no warning at all. It's, uh... I don't need that kind of stress in my life. Okay, spraying is going fine. Looks like we should be able to finish this field without needing to refill. And 
we're done fertilizing also. Yeah, beautiful. Um, okay, the corn. We need to fertilize the corn as well. Let's go do that. That'll take about five seconds. It's a small field. Oh, and then I I saw some I saw some price alerts, so we'll need to do we'll need to sell some stuff too. So let's uh, let's do that once I get the uh, whoops. Oh no, I don't want that. Sorry, <laughs> hitting the wrong button. I was trying to turn up my time scale. Okay, yeah, I saw the one for chocolate. I thought there might have been one earlier. And I know we were going to check on furniture. We were expecting maybe the price of furniture to go up this month, but we'll take a look at it. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead and refill. Um, I just want to make sure whether I can drive on this without damaging it still. Yeah, okay. So it seems like if you're in the first growth stage, you can drive on your crop even with wide tires or normal tires and not... Oh yeah, let's refill back here and not damage anything. So that's good. <laughs> no, we haven't been having that much fun, Lanesta. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't miss it. Okay, so we got to clear the current course. Yeah, we've just been doing regular old farm work. Boring. <laughs> And, yeah, I want sharp corners. Because that's the kind of field we got here. Alright, let's save that. That's CP5. Fertilize. Okay, first waypoint, go. Do it to it. Alright, and hopefully that'll clean up. Yeah, that'll give us our second stage. Um, yes, you know, this field could use some cleanup too. Um, Maybe we'll just wait for the next one. Actually, since we're doing soybeans, I don't think there's any chopped straw from soybeans, so this should all reset to zero, and then and then the fertilization will be nice and even on that field, so I'm not going to worry about that one. Okay. Yeah, so let's go sell some stuff and generate some money to pay for that very expensive harvester we just got. There we go. Okay, let's check our let's check our price alerts and see what's triggered right now. Clothes. Okay, we can sell some clothes. I don't know if I have much of it though. We just sold some, didn't we? Yeah, and chocolate. Furniture hasn't Oh, my furniture I think these triggers did not get saved when I changed them. Cuz I changed this one, didn't I? Oh, 
I set this to around 6100. So let's see. Maybe I didn't hit OK and it didn't save it. Yeah, it was the same here. I meant to reduce this one as well. 10% below the peak was what I was after. Okay, so chocolate furniture and clothes are all worth selling. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have much clothes, so I won't bother with that. Uh, but the chocolate and the furniture, I don't have much chocolate either. So we'll just sell furniture. Uh, and there's a lot of furniture to sell. 93,000. That is at the pallet warehouse, not the shop. Oh, really? Hmm. That would mess things up a bit, wouldn't it? That's a bit of a complication, isn't it? And I can't even see what it says because the name is so long. Yeah. Okay. So at the farm shop, it's 6307. Right, which is still above our trigger. I mean, it's always going to be pretty close, but... Yeah, it would be nice if I could exclude that one. Maybe I can find a way to disable... To disable its function as a cell, as a cell point. <laughs> I didn't ignore your comment. I don't ignore... Sometimes I don't see... <laughs> Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to sell it. And I think we'll have a couple loads worth. <laughs> My wife says says things like that to me sometimes. She's like, I told you, you know, I told you such and such and you ignored me. It's like, no, I didn't ignore you. I just I didn't hear you. It's a big difference. Dissecting the difference between ignore and not hear is not really worth... <laughs> it's not worth the effort. <laughs> well... See, that goes back to intent again, though. Like... 
it's not selective hearing. I mean, it's like... Well, I guess there's a difference between hearing and listening, you know. Sometimes somebody's talking and you hear you hear voice noises, but you're not really paying attention, you know. That doesn't make you a jerk. <laughs> like for example, I mean, yeah, I really shouldn't get into this, but <laughs> I shouldn't get into this with you guys, but while we're talking about it. Like, you know, my son lives here. Um, I have two dogs. And my wife talks to people on the phone, you know. Um, so, just because I hear my wife's voice doesn't mean that I think she's trying to tell me something, you know. So, that's why sometimes she's talking and I might not be actively listening. It's not a problem. We've, we're okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, I should have never... <laughs> should have never commented on this stuff. Oh yeah, we did mean to get the um, pro pro petite sing singe. Sorry, I don't know if I said that correctly, but thank you for the follow. In any case, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and I guess you can tell what you can tell what I'm sensitive about. You know, Reeve thirty three Reeve. Thank you for the follow. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, we are nearing the end for today. Um, but for those of you who are new uh, to the stream, I believe my schedule on Twitch is up to date. I usually stream Sunday mornings and Wednesday evening, U.S. time. Thanks, Mitchell Jam. Appreciate it. Um, and sometimes, if I have time, I'll I'll do a third stream during the week. Careful, this Taylor trip, this tail, the this trailer tips pretty easily. You got to be careful when you're making sharp turns. Don't go too fast. Don't ask me how I know that. Yeah. Um, the pallet warehouse is not on Mod Hub. And Oh yeah, we'll get the Oh, are you All right, hang on. Um But if you go to if you go to my Discord, I had a link for a mods list. So there's my links. Um, let me see if I can find. Let me see if I can find the link to that. There's there's the mods there's the mods list. Um, I haven't updated it in a while, so it's, it doesn't have all the latest and greatest ones, but um, it should have the warehouse on it. Uh, Discord link is above in the chat. <laughs> Stone Crusher, you are walking on thin ice, my friend. <laughs> Did 
she's like, oh, so I'm noise? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> okay. So selling is done. Right, the chocolate and stuff, even though the price was good, there's just, I sold it recently, so there's just not a lot in the warehouse right now. Uh, so it's not really worth making a trip just for one pallet or something like that. Okay. Um, so spraying is done. Oh, and uh, sorry, backing up Alex. Um, Am I getting another X9 or a planter? Um, what do you mean, are you getting one? Do you mean, do you want me to buy one? I was thinking maybe we could get the, uh, since we retired the Fen, I was thinking maybe we could buy the 8RX to replace it. And then and then we're part of the way towards getting that really nice planner set up. I don't know what you guys think about that. <laughs> well, it's because I trust your advice. You're my um, equipment consultant, let's say. <laughs> But yeah, since we retired the Fent, I think we'll get um, I think we'll get the 8RX to replace it. It the 8RX won't have as much power, obviously, um, but it should be it should still be sufficient for most of what we need to do. All right, let's wash this off real quick. Yeah, yeah, not too much. I mean, I, I don't really, for that for that vehicle, I don't really need 500 horsepower, you know. Um, as long as it's enough to pull that obscenely expensive planner around, that'll be enough. Um, yeah, Stone Crusher, that, that is a mod as well. Um, and it's a mod that I modified just to put my logo on it. Um, I don't recall if that one is on the list. Uh, let me check. Oh yeah, it is. That's the lighted farm sign. And the, the lighted farm sign mod, um, I think if you go to the download page, there should be instructions on like, it, it's meant for you to customize it with your own logo or text. Um, so there's instructions on how to do that. You do need to get the, uh, the Giants editor, you know, to make those changes, but... Yeah, um, we are... The planter that we're talking about is... I don't know if you've seen it. This, this is all on ModHub, I believe. Um, but first of all, you have this modded John Deere 8RX. Okay. So let's start with that. And we want the row crop. We want heavy duty or regular. I guess we might as well get the heavy duty now. Extra lights. I think so. Triangle. Yeah, let's get the triangle. And then I almost always just max out the engine. Although if I go to full, that we get power shift instead of a CVT. So I think I'll just go with the CVT because I like that better. Okay. So we'll buy that. Okay, and then with that, there is, um, where are those tanks? 
think it's under sprayers, maybe? Yeah. You can get these tanks, which hold uh, liquid fertilizer. So we're gonna buy those. And then the cedar that goes with it, or the planter that goes with it, is a modded version of the John Deere, which as you can see, $430,000, right? I mean, okay. So now we got that. <laughs> I'll sell that other planter. Oh, okay. No, I already did sell the other planter. All right, so now we're broke again. That's okay. We'll have more furniture and stuff to sell pretty soon. Let's go pick it up from the shop and get it back home. Okay. Turn the music off. All right, yeah. So let's let's get this let's get this baby hooked up. You know, I didn't check the power requirements on it. I'm hoping that the 430 horsepower. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's more than enough. Great. Now I don't know if you back into this or drive forward into it or what, but. Okay, yep, so those mount there. Oh, yeah, jeez. <laughs> no kidding. And then the planter goes there. And then, now this thing runs off of liquid fertilizer instead of solid, which is a little different. But yeah, this is uh, this is the setup. The tanks can only fill with pallets. Okay, that's a pain. All right, what about on the planner? Just the tanks on the tractor, or on the planner too? Anyway, with this setup, we're probably going to have to. Oh, okay. All right, I guess I can live with that. We can buy some, we can buy some tanks and bring them back to the farm. Yeah, so with this setup, we might have to do a big field of corn or something at some point to really make some use out of it, but it's pretty slick. Actually, let's... Take a look at it up close while we're at it. So those are the tanks. Yeah, it looks like you have some hoses there. That run between the tanks and then that feeds back into the planter. Pretty nice. Oh. Huh. So is there a front tank you can put on this thing too? thing is. Is that like a filter or something? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like that's, you would put a filter there. Oh, okay. Oh, that's where you would fill it. Ah, very cool. A water separator. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. 
Yeah, yeah, well, that's cool. Well, that, that costs a lot of money, but it'll be fun. The inside's nice. Yeah, so also to those guys who are new, um, I've mentioned this before, but I, I ordered a steering wheel. I use a I use an Xbox controller currently and have been for a while, which is pretty nice. It works well, but I got to... I gotta fix that bump in the road back there. That's driving me nuts. Let's see if we can see where that is. Yeah, see it right there? We gotta fix that. I think when I put the sign down, it kind of messed with the ground level a little bit. Okay, well, I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it too much. I just want to smooth it. There, that's better. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, and I have, uh, I got dual joysticks too, so uh, that'll be nice for the forestry stuff, and then... Alright, yeah, so let's, uh, let's see if we can fill this up. I wonder if, I wonder if we can, maybe we can fill the tanks from the silo. Let's try it. Okay, so we'll open the lids. Yeah, this says, says start filling with the tractor selected. All right, let's uh, let's buy some liquid fertilizer. Oh no, I don't want that much. Uh, let's just get ten thousand liters to start with. Okay, so is that filling? I think that's filling on my tractor, right? Yeah, it's hard to tell. All right, so let's pull forward. All right, now we're filling the seed. That's going in those two bins in the back. And then there should be another fill point. Oh, what is this? The front weight is selectable. Huh. Okay, close cover. Now, how do I fill that third tank? Maybe that third tank is me. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if, what if I do this? Okay, it filled the planter and not, not my tanks. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's not going to work with this either. Alright, so let's leave that parked there, and then what we can do... Oh, yeah, yeah, let me get the 7R. We'll go buy a pallet full of... Uh, or we'll buy, we'll buy a trailer full of fertilizer pallets. And bring that back to the farm. Go put this away first. Go 
probably should wash it first, but... Ooh, yeah, I'm already over time. So, let's just do that real quick, and then I'll have to call it a day. And one of these days soon, I'm going to replace that cow barn, because the fact that it's raised by about three feet from everything else around it is really... It's really bugging me. Alright, so let's do that, and then, yeah, we'll just unload it there. <laughs> yeah, the Roomba. <laughs> Looks like we'll need more hay and silage soon. Probably before we get to harvest any silage. Or the corn, I mean. So we'll have to buy some more. Yeah, so we just, we rebuilt the farm recently. And in the process of doing that, I had I sold some silos that contained all of our silage and hay and stuff that we had stored. So for the for the short term, we just have to buy silage and hay and straw for the cows to keep them fed. Um, but once we get through this season, then we'll we'll be stocked up again. We'll have straw from the oats and we'll have silage from the corn, and that should take us through at least another season. Unless we add more cows. Which we may do. In fact, I suppose if I'm going to replace that cow barn, I might as well replace it with the one that has 210 cows or whatever it is. Instead of... Um, instead of 80. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get... I don't know if I want to get that huge one. I don't think I really want that many cows. Alright, so we're going to load... Is it liquid tank? Yeah. That's what we want to load. I think that I think it'll hold six. So let's buy six pallets of liquid furt. Do I have to buy these one at a time? Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. And there goes most of the rest of our money. Yeah, I guess it would it would pay for itself. Oh, it only holds three. Okay. Uh, cover me cover me corrected. <laughs> or whatever the phrase is. I stand corrected. Heard me wrong. Okay, let's get this back to the shop. Get a little music going. We're doing retro 80s music. Well, 80s style music. I think, uh, thanks to. Uh, Thanks to the support from everybody, I, I think I'm going to be signing up for one of the paid music services for my streams to uh, improve the musical situation. It is nice to have some music in the background once in a while, especially on Farm Sim where, you know, a lot of times you're just doing field work and there's not a whole lot to talk about. You prefer no music? Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind, too. Well, and I guess that is that is a problem with... Um, that is a problem with music, is that... I mean, it does liven things up a bit. Or it can liven things up a bit when there's not much going on, or there's not much discussion to be had, you know. But 
the uh, I guess the drawback of it is that no matter what music you pick, there's always going to be there's going to be somebody that doesn't like it, no matter what it is. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um, I'm not backing up very well, am I? This is a short trailer. It's kind of hard to back up well. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. There we go. Alright, so let's see. Actually, I should have moved this a little bit closer. Let's... Let's get these a little closer. That way the tractor won't have to... Uh... Won't have to struggle to get close enough. Oh, wonderful. I messed it up. There we go. Refill additional tank. Okay. So let's see how much that holds. Oh, that holds quite a bit, doesn't it? Nice. Well, I'm looking forward to planning with this thing now. So, Alex, you said whatever I do, don't, <laughs> don't detach the tanks. What happens if I do that? for it. Okay, so this is a pretty this is a pretty slick setup. I almost feel like I almost feel like replanting one of my fields just so I can use it. It's me. I wonder if I can even do that. Yeah, I could plant I could plant corn again. Yeah, I want to try it out now. I guess we'll wait till next season. We'll be okay. Okay, guys. Well, listen. I'm going to have to call it a day. It's lunchtime. So, uh, thank you all for being here. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yep. Uh, let's, let's do a raid. Uh, let's see. Let me see who's online. And if you guys have any recommendations, um, and if you guys are happy to hear those. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to search for farm sim. Let's see who's doing farming simulator. Okay. All right, well, um, I don't see anybody that I know. Um, but here's a guy, here's a guy who's doing Fox Farms. So let's, let's go there. Uh, truck ENJ. Says it's English, so. All right, so we'll get that going. Yeah, so thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.